so Polonius, dear to my heart, in some ways he's kind of close to me, I think, or I found a lot of myself, and I think I found a lot of my father in him, because he loved to talk, he loved his family, he's a bit of a bit foolish, and he's a bit of a butt of some of the jokes in the play. But he also gets some really wonderful things to say, and some of the most memorable lines of of Shakespeare, neither a borrower nor a lender be, to thine own self be true, some of those famous lines. And he says them to his, in this case, daughter, uh, Laertes, played by Rasul Jahan. He's not trying to be controlling, well, maybe he is a little bit, but I think he really loves his family, he loves Ophelia, loves Laertes. Yes, he's he talks too much and he's a little self-important, but the fact that they have love in the family is important because when he is murdered by Hamlet, uh, that has to be the what drives the rest of the play. Obviously, Ophelia goes mad, and Laertes seeks revenge against Hamlet, which sort of <laughs> drives the tragedy. So if it weren't for a family that actually had a, a huge loss in their father, like Hamlet and her father, that I think was, was important. Yeah, the gravedigger, uh, he was a fun guy. He also got some laughs. He's there because he's a little social commentary on someone took their own life shouldn't be getting Christian burial and it's only because she's a, a rich girl that she's getting this uh, Christian burial. So a little social commentary on how the haves get things a little differently than the have-nots in the world. I like that in our version the gravedigger gets to suddenly surprise offer a thigh bone to Hamlet which she's a little taken back by because earlier in the play Hamlet does the same thing to Polonius surprise offering a book which takes him aback. So I like that little mirrored bit of business that we found in the play. Funny thing, uh, <laughs> the prop, Lauren, our prop master, must have been frustrated with me because she had to repair the skulls at least twice because I have as a grave digger obviously a shovel and I had a big huge Tupperware thing full of mulch that we use for the dirt but around it there's the space and so I as I'm digging as I'm singing the song I knock the skulls off the, the trap and they fell down to the, the concrete below cracked twice I did that so she's dutifully repairing these skulls that I have cracked open twice so thank you Lauren sorry my daughter Kira was assistant to the fight director and so she helped as fight captain run the fight but she also was in the play which was great fun for me but she was also understudying Sanjana Taskar as Ophelia and during our COVID <laughs> breakout Sanjana unfortunately uh, went down with COVID and so Kira had to go on for five performances for those five performances I was playing a scene with my daughter who was playing my daughter in the play. And so that dual reality threw me for a little bit. And that was a bit of a challenge until I realized, you know what, I just need to embrace that dual reality that I, there's two layers of father-daughter-ness happening here. And then it was great fun and, uh, and, a, and a real blessing. I'll, I'll always be thankful for those for those times together on stage. With Kira's um, and Jeff Jones, of course, again, as our, our, our fight director, they uh, helped set the, the brilliant fights and they worked on those again and developed them with Tia and Rasul. But then my daughter got to help her father get killed every night because Polonius gets stabbed every night. So that was fun having my daughter figure out how I could die every night. <laughs> that was fun. Kill your father. Okay. <laughs>